everyone. I've been waiting for you. I knew it. Like the rising of the sun. I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in, then. Of course. Please follow me. Bring them in. As you wish. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night, but it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. No, oh, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising, given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? The First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore onto the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine. And how to respond to that? This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? Uh, I... um... Well... If you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... So, I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I, and all of us really, have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Agreed. 
That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. As your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh. It's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. Here, my lady. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. There's really a secret passage? The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Hmm, if we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the provincial army. I'm not going to say thanks. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown, too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Reinford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine. Gwen really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, the best spots in the entertainment district, um, you know, the really important things in life. It's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can. Too easily. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the Master one day. Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> can't deny that. It's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if 
life will seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. So, you think this is gonna work? Alright, that should do it. What is this thing? An orbital wave antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Yep. Toa is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Always room for one more with us. Your knowledge of the mind will really be invaluable. Looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Watch out, guys! Go! Ha! My turn! Yeah. Ah. Let's go! Eat it! <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> I'll try. This is just a one-way path. Well, no chance of us getting lost in here, at least. Let's run on through. This shouldn't take long. My turn! I'm in. Go for it! I've got you! It's my turn! Fire! All right, let's keep on moving. <laughs> this 
This shouldn't take long. Go! Ha! Time to shine. How about this? Go for it! Alright, follow me. Right, right. <laughs> Behold the power of our love. Oh, you never change, do you? has been pretty worried about all of you, you know? Well, glad to know she's looking out for us. Yeah, though I feel a little bad since we're making more work for her. The eight leaves. We've been walking for ages. How far are we at this point? Judging by the distance we've traveled, I'd say we're about halfway. Uh, how can you tell that? Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Sorry, you're really not my type. Here we go. Burn to ash. Okay. Oh my fee, that was simply wonderful. Thanks. Please hold your applause. A plus outcome. Take long. Here we go. Second form. Damn. I'm in. My turn.
This path's gotten real twisty all of a sudden. Hmm. I wonder if they built it like that to avoid the mine shafts. If that's true, that must mean we're almost there. Looks like we made it. This is pure bliss. Stop that, Angelica! Just kidding around. I love it when you're angry. I swear, this girl.
This shouldn't take long. My turn. Bang, bang, bang! Here we go. I can do this. Okay, safe for now. What a nice looking treasure chest. Looks like this place is crawling with archaisms. Just like Aurelia. There's some monsters I didn't see when we were here yesterday, too. They must have brought them in from outside. Be careful. And strong. I'm the total package. the exit. Looks like the gate's been shut. So, the Provincial Army and the RMP are having their shouting match out there. Let's just leave them to it. We need to head further in. Well fought, Angelica. Let's 
by treasure. Bring it on! My turn. This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it! Here we go! Burn to ass! Ha! Sorry, you're really not my type. Leave it to me. Bang, bang, bang! My turn. Burn to ash! Ha! Go! Let's go, everyone! Okay, I gotcha! Okay. Time to shine. Uh, oh. I can do this. Light. Rain upon us. All right. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. Catch.
burn to ash. Ha! My turn. Time to shine. My turn. your name on it. Hope you like it. Go get him. I got you. Right. Huh?
Oh, what a nice looking... Turn. of the eight leaves. It's my turn. My turn. Time to shine. Not a dead end? Maybe not. We walked past a ladder not too long ago. Let's go back and find it. Yep, this is the one. Climbing this should take us further in. I heard a rumbling. 
Was there a cave-in somewhere? Nothing's gonna collapse in here, is it? Phew. Looks like it came from somewhere farther off. Hello, Reen here. Damn. Reen, can you hear me? I've hit a little snag here. Crow, what happened? Well, I've managed to get the miners back all right. But as I was coming back, there was this cave in. I hate to say it, but it caught me totally off guard. The route we took in from the passage is totally blocked now. So it was a cave in after all. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. No, a little dusty. It was a close one. But I can't get to you, and you guys won't be able to come back the same way from where you are. I'm trying to find another route to get to you. Just hang tight, okay? We will. And be careful. Was that Crow? I heard you mention a cave in. What happened? That sound we just heard was a cave in, and it happened right along the route we took in here. Crow's okay, but he doesn't know if he'll be able to find another way to get to where we are. That's unfortunate. And it means our exit point is cut off, too. Looks like there's no turning back now. Let's keep going. I'm with you all the way. We're not leaving until we find those miners. The eight leaves. An A plus outcome. there just a little further now all right on the other side of that door is the central controller that's where the other hostages are being held with any luck the terrorists won't see us coming they haven't come out to stop us directly so I don't think they know we're here ensuring the safety of the hostages should be our top priority right we need to be cautious now more than ever Green here. It's me, George. Is it safe to talk now? George! I just got off the line with Toa. 
but she said she wants to talk with you directly, so I'm going to patch her call into your Arcus. The signal quality is not going to be too hot, so just put your Arcus in speaker mode and bear with me for a minute. Understood. And speaker mode on. Are you all okay? President Herschel! Yeah, we're still alive and kicking. Angie! I'm so relieved you're safe. I've been worried sick about all of you, especially when I heard Crow was caught up in that cave-in. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have come to Ruhr myself. It's all right. I'm glad you got in touch with us. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Anyway, it sounds like Crow's fine, so you don't have to worry about it. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh right! I called you because I just turned up some new info. It sounds like His Majesty the Emperor has given the Railway Military Police official clearance to investigate the mine. They had to take it all the way to the top? Yep, and there's no way the Provincial Army can bluster their way past that. I bet the Railway Military Police will be busting in any moment now. Well, that's some good news at least. But even so, we need to press our advantage and keep heading deeper into the mine. This is our chance. We can use the confusion the RMP will cause to rescue the hostages. But even if they do step in, I can see the Provincial Army still trying to get in their way. Yeah. So the sooner we act, the better chance we have of getting to those miners and getting them out safely. Okay, but be careful, everyone. And if you feel like it's too dangerous, you get out of there quick, okay? Don't try to do anything too reckless. That goes double for you two, Reen and Angie. Me? Reckless? <laughs> Looks like she's got our number. Don't worry. I promise we'll come back in one piece. Okay, you promised. I'll be waiting for you back at the Academy. So, um, I'm gonna pass you back to George now. Well, that's about how things stand right now. Got my fingers crossed that Adios is looking after you. Good luck, guys. Roger. Just leave it to us. Yeah. Though, we wouldn't have made it this far without Crow, George, and Toa. It all comes down to this. Let's make them proud. Right. <laughs> I'm ready to finish this in style. Leaves. <laughs> 